think we need to go out to the lakefront, just see how the wind is blowing at this time. The waves are whipping up. And when that occurs, well, then you know that wind is pretty fierce. So there we are. Yeah, we got some splash going on. But I can tell you, I've seen it so much worse. So what we have out there is an east wind now at about 40 miles per hour. It's when you get the north wind that you really get the water coming over the uh, the steps there and over the street. So we'll have to wait and see when that happens, but you're definitely seeing a rise. Here is a look at our view from the city cam and notice the camera shaking a bit there as well. Hey, we've got a flood advisory in effect for Lafouche Parish. Daniel was showing you that a moment ago, how the rain was really coming down there. We've been talking about it. Lafouche and Terrebonne really look like they're going to get some of the heavier rain, but that flood advisory in effect through 130. And then we've got a flood advisory as well for Livingston Parish. It's not so much from the rain, but because of that strong east wind, it's pushing water on shore. So that's in effect through three o'clock on Sunday for tides about one to three feet above normal. That really pushes water on the roadways right there. And a wind advisory is in effect for the Pearl River and Washington Parish through 5 a.m. Sunday. So that wind is going to be 20, 30, 40 miles per hour. Here is a look at the wind right now. Strongest over in Homa, but not too bad. 44 miles per hour, 40 at the lakefront. The problem is, is that they are persistently strong winds, and that's why you can get the tree limbs breaking, and then you get those power outages. The forecast has it been a hurricane at landfall. This thing is moving like a snail right now. I mean, it's so slow. It's over that warm water. Water temperatures upper 80s to near 90. We've been talking about the wind shear, those stronger winds aloft at about 20 miles per hour and the dry air. But if it moves that slowly and it can moisten up the atmosphere, well, then you do have the potential to get that locally heavy rain. Max winds now 65 miles per hour, that pressure at 993 millibars. So the hurricane warning from Intracoastal City to Grand Isle, that means hurricane force winds are possible. Here is a look at the tropical storm warning, and we're certainly seeing tropical force winds right now. Remember, I showed you 40, 44 mile per hour winds. Here is a look at the storm surge warning. That's where we've got the potential in some cases of a storm surge of three to six feet, but the best news of all is that we're not going to get that major surge up the Mississippi River. It is not forecast to crest at 19 feet. In fact, it has already crested. It's beginning to fall. Now, later on, they're going to get rain, and it'll pop up to about 17.1 and then drop. Here is a look at the storm surge for Shell Beach over to Intracoastal City, about three to six feet. Shell Beach to Biloxi, about three to five feet. For Lake Pontchartrain, the potential for three to five feet. And we've already got that flood advisory in effect for Livingston Parish because of that water being pushed on shore with that east wind. Lake Maripaw at about one to three feet. So you really feel that. Um, just into Livingston Parish. Here is a look at our rainfalls today, and you know, not that bad, a half an inch of rain over at Slidell. We're almost done with the day over at the lakefront, a quarter of an inch of rain, but we still have that flash flood watch for our entire area. And I've got to tell you, these forecast models really are different, but uh, some of them are very bullish on the amount of rain that we could get. It depends on where those rain bands set up. Hurricane Center is still going with 10 to 20 plus inches of rain, possibly up to 25. And the Weather Prediction Center with that high risk for excessive rainfall. There is a look at the flood warning for the Mississippi River. And I can't tell you how happy I am that we are not hitting 19 feet. So there it is. It has dropped and it's going to bump back up to 17.1 with rain that's occurring upriver and then flowing downriver. It will not be from that storm surge. But concerns 
for the North Shore because we are expecting to get rain up there that could be locally heavy and cause the rivers to rise. Uh, 30.5 for the Chifuncta at Covington, uh, Chifuncta near Folsom at about 24 feet, and the Tanchpaho at Robert at 21. Those are all at major floods, so that is a big concern. Looking out the window, not seeing that camera shake too much right now. We need to go back and look at the lakefront and see the splash there, right? Here we are, we're looking at the big picture and we're seeing this rain is getting more organized. So that's a concern. I also want you to notice how broad this system is. And because it's so big, basically rain bands well to the east, it takes it more time to get its act together. If it's a small system like Umberto years ago, I think 1989, it can ramp up really fast, but this is bigger, so it's not ramping up really fast, but still before it makes landfall forecast to be a minimal hurricane. Getting some decent rain bands in here, and with this rain band, when it moved on shore, that's when Grand Isle got those really strong winds and got the storm surge. So when this moves on shore in Terrebonne Parish, you're going to get strong winds, and you are going to get strong storm surge with that as well. This is a change. So what we're seeing is the moisture aloft moving to the north and it is no longer being dissipated by the dry air. It's now moistening up the atmosphere and we're beginning to get more moisture moving our way. So our chances of rain should begin to increase that dry air really wreaked havoc with Barry and we kind of like that, right? So this is a decent rain band right here. That's going to be moving to the northwest, could really impact Terrebonne Parish. Lafouche Parish is already getting it. That's where they've got that flood advisory. Then we're looking on land, not seeing as much. Over here in St. Tammany, Bogalusa, uh, over in Washington Parish, Tangipahoe, nothing, Pearl River County a little bit. This is the east wind that's over into Livingston Parish into Lake Maripaw, and that's what's causing uh, that flood advisory. A little bit of rain over here towards Biloxi and Bay St. Louis, and you're getting that water rise there as well. Metro looking good, but then just to the west over here by Desolomons, that's heavy rain. Galliano getting heavy rain. And the problem is it's doing what we said was possible. It's training over the same area. So you've got a rain band that's moving across the same area. And because Barry is moving to the west northwest at three miles per hour. I can run that fast, okay? Um, you know, you're going to get these rain bands in the same places. Grand Isle has had some rain, of course, there without power, and Intergy can't get to them. The road is flooded, the winds are high, and so they're just going to have to sit tight. But they're troopers over there. I know they can handle it. There's that rain that's offshore that's going to be moving to the north into Terrebonne Parish. You can see this counterclockwise flow with the center of Barry right about in there. So the slight risk for severe storms, haven't seen any today. Slight risk as you go into Saturday also for your Sunday. Here is a look at one of our forecast models and it's doing a pretty good job initializing well getting the situation correct right now. And we can see these rain bands moving to the north, but notice too, over here by Mobile Bay, they get some heavy rain according to this model. Same thing for the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Here's the lake right here, and this is noontime Saturday, and it's showing heavy rain across our area. And Terrebonne Parish, Lafouse, you are getting some heavy rain with this forecast model. So be aware of that, then it moves off to the north and we're still seeing that really heavy rain, not only over the metro, but a big concerns for Terrebonne Parish and of course St. Mary Parish as that rain ramps up. A look at our global forecast model 11. It's saying this thing is not making landfall until 11 or thereabouts, but you can see it near uh, Marsh Island, Galliano, Grand Isle, Homa all have winds in the 60 degree range. Here we are in the afternoon. We've got 51 mile per hour winds. 
right there at the airport, 55 over at Homa, 48 at Gulfport. And as you go into Saturday night, that wind is still really blowing. So uh, that's a situation we'll have to write, watch with windy conditions overnight into your Sunday. And when the wind is blowing like that, you get the tree limbs knocked down, you get the power outages, and you get the roof damage. How much rain? Well, the global forecast model has us with a higher rain chance and the potential that you could get locally heavy mm -hmm. rain. Yep. So over towards the airport uh, by early Sunday, you've got almost five inches at the airport. And watch as we go through time. This is Sunday morning. It is really adding up and it adds up for all of us, not as much for South Mississippi. This is a look at that global forecast model and it just kind of shows you pictorially where that heavy rain is gonna be, but you see the flow of the wind, and that tells you where the water is going to go to. Now we're looking at Saturday night. You've got that strong south wind, and you've got some pretty heavy rain on the North Shore. That's why some of the rivers, especially in St. Helena and Tangipahoa and St. Tammany parishes, are forecast to go to major floods. So we just wanted to keep you posted on that. So get ready. It's getting its act together. It's not going to come on shore right away. It's over warm water. It's moistening up. So uh, the Hurricane Center is saying 10 to uh, 20 inches of rain, possibly more. Some areas likely not to get that much, but be aware of that potential. And on the east side of a landfalling system,